Hi, in this is Military Model of Paul with a new and up and coming build with Greg Riley and it will be a Tacon kit, a Blitz version of the Tacon kits and it is the Yag, Pam, the Yag Tiger uh, or Hunting Tiger as I like to call it uh, from Tacon and there you go, I've just mentioned their name twice so it's a bit of advertising for him anyway but it's a two in one kit as you can see now, whoops Anyway, there it is on the box. I think you can get a good view of it there. I'll be building the later version with uh, the actual all these tracks all the way along the side, so you've got three lots instead of two. And I will be doing a bit of hand painting and not spraying for that particular thing, so should be a bit different. And that's what I'll be doing. And the kit number is uh, 8001. Actually, it's got, it's got actually uh, it's a different number on there. It actually says uh, 03.01. And then 8. Zero, zero, 001 so anyway you've got multiple choices there there you go and the one I'll be building is actually that one whoops let's get it straight and there you go there you go file is steady so that's the one I'll be building and there you go select one so what I'm going to do now is um going to go down to the bench and we'll have a look see what we've done and what I have actually built part of it which is the tracks because they're the metal ones and I took them on holiday the last time uh, when I visited Bobbington and while we was in the caravan in the evenings I was doing a bit of track cleaning and pinning so there you go that's what bit you will see you'll see that as well so here we go go down there and have a look at the bench see you in a couple of seconds right here we go then so we're at the bench now as you can see I've managed to get me uh, the thing done and, and the good thing with smaller boxes well this is quite a big one you see I've got a split there that's me did that uh, when I was unpacking it when I got it if the kit originally so there you go so this is what we're going to do this kind of gets looking in the box now so have a look out take this lid away I'll put it over here so I can actually put stuff in I don't know that's going to be shot a bit bit in shot but not too bad there you go that's okay so and this is the instructions we'll look at that at the end so I'll put that over there on top of the old uh, battleship one the old 200 uh, HMS Nelson this is the photo and it's quite comprehensive I'm not going to undo it because it's pointless until you need it you can see there's quite a bit there so not nice bits of bits of pee there now what I will say now is I built these up I'm not going to take them out of the bag but I'll do it we'll do I might be able to do that take it out of the bag I'll take one of each I'll take them all out I won't be long before I'm doing them anyway at some point soon and there they are really nice uh, cleaned all up these had to be cleaned up and so did the idler wheels and there you go not bad there you go I think I've got the light in position about right this time and so they're going to go back in the bag and the reason for that is obviously I did these when I was on holiday uh, the, for my first holiday year down in Dorset not far away from Bobbington uh, Bobbington camp where the old tech museum is I use these as well to actually build the tracks and get the right number of links for the metal uh, tracks that I've actually got so there you go so I'm going to put them in the bottom of the book don't need them anymore but it's worth it now what I did do as well after watching Night Shift um, uh, is built on uh, on the edge to internet and a great builder fantastic builder I would like to emulate him but uh, I'll never, I may get there eventually just before I uh, kick the bucket as well <laughs> so here we go so this is it then what I did is he he had trouble here this plate when he had all the parallel hole and the gun in fixing in place he had problems with this actually fitting so using his knowledge uh, of how bad it was I thought myself well I don't want to get stuck with that later on so I'm going to put that on first because I know I can slide this over the barrel as it were and get it into place because you haven't got no interior in this kit so that's the main thing and and what he said is this didn't fit now as you can see I've I've actually done it and you've got gaps in there. that's no problem because I'm going to be real re doing exactly the same as uh, he did and using putty to actually make the weld seam so that's okay now there's a lip there and there is a lip on the real vehicle so that don't uh, not put that there and underneath I managed to get it to fit nice and all and that's exactly as it should be I don't know if you can see it there you go 
So everything's lined up for that now. So that's one job out of the way. And, and I thought it was going to be a hard job, but it wasn't. It was harder for, obviously, for Night Shift because he had to do it actually while it was all in trying to get it in situ. So there you go, I'm mucking about, back and forward. So well, here we go. So this is some of the parts, this is the parts. And that's, there is bits missing here, obviously. In fact, if I take this away, if I put that over there, excuse me, move that over there out of the way, put it that way. Oh, you'll see it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but you might be able to get a bit of a better view of this now. And there you go. That's not bad at all. And I like this with the old letters at the top, so you don't have to even do anything. You've got a lovely bit there. But you can see how good the details are. If I come up a bit higher, actually. There you go. Lots of nice, lovely details there. I'll put that up there out of the way. Move that. Here we go. Decals. These are really nice if I do this. Sorry about the reflection, but I can't see the point in taking them out there. But the decals are quite nice. There you go. And this would, kit was in, done in 2019, so it's not too old at all, really. There's a little um, update. When I'm doing number two. I found that out now. On the instructions, when it says 9-2, that's the late version, and 9-1 is the earlier version. I mean, not much earlier, but it was an earlier one. There you go. And as I took them all out of the packet to make life easier, it's even better. There you go, so if I do this, and these are the road wheels, so if I come down here, they're nice. The axles, there they go. And this is the uh, the actual Henschel version, obviously. That's that one. This is the same. And the bits that are missing are obviously the idler wheels, so if I come down a bit, you've actually seen this anyway, but you can see what I mean, that's that bit. And we got um, these two, I never did take them out of the packet. And what the E, and the other one's E and one's F. And I think it's the, the E version is my one, I think. But anyway, we'll find out when we get something, but I won't take these out. But I think if I get a view here, you'll see what I mean. The detail is really nice, and that is mine, that, I think that is the E is my one. And the F version is for the early. And I think you can see that. And you can see the engine plates. But if, where the arm is in it, this is definitely my one. Oops, you can see. It's, the F is definitely my one because you can see where the actual engine deck um, machine gun, the anti aircraft gun goes, is there. On the early version, it's in the, in the middle of the door. This one's this one is better, I suppose, when you think about it, because you can open the engine hatch without removing the actual pedestal for the gun. There you go. So I left them in there for anyway. Next bit is a hole because it sits in there, so I might as well do this one. Probably that cellar tape there. And this is it. There you go. Nice details. Underneath is good. They do a lot of detail on the rear. Remember the first tank kits come out, this was always uh, bare and nothing on it, but now they've actually done some de uh, bits and pieces to actually get some details and little latches that are underneath. There you go. As you see, no detail as such inside. And the next bit is, I'll oh, put that piece of bag over there, is the Fenders, which I've got replacements for, as you know, in the photo etch, so that's okay. Um, nice details. I've got some clasps. I think I've got 35th scale flat, flat, um, tool clamps and everything for this, so I would be knocking off anything unless they've got plain. Sometimes they put plain ones in without those odd tools without the clamps on, but it doesn't mean you can clean them up anyway. But yeah, so if I just go a bit higher. Even the fog seems to look really good these days, I must admit. And there you go. You knock that off. <laughs> That'd be great fun, wouldn't it? Next thing we've got is the gun barrels. And as you can see, no, I took the front plate off from the hole, so that came from there. And there's the uh, gun mantlet. This is rear uh, the cat, uh, fighting compartment. 
where the actual double door goes in, big heavy duty door, and then the gun there, you can see the gun there. The detail is really nice. Even better I think. There you go. That's where the gun goes inside. Nice bit of detail on it, but you're not going to see any of that anyway. Mine are big closed up, might have a, an hatch open with a crew member sticking out the top. I might get around to doing that, I think it might be a good idea. Give it a bit of human life, that and give you an idea of the size of the vehicle. And there you go, for that's that. And that's all the sprues now. And now we've got the tracks. Now the tracks, the kit, are in a box somewhere. I'm not worried about them, and I might have even got rid of them, I'm not sure. I don't normally, but uh, there you go. So here's a set of tracks, and here's the other set. This hasn't been linked up, so it doesn't matter. Uh, there it is. I think the pin came out of this one, but it doesn't matter. So that, there it is, and this one's got a pin. There. So I can actually undo it, put it on and repin it again, and I'll be doing the same with the other one once it's painted. But um, very nice, and they're heavy, they give it a uh, give a nice uh, impression of uh, uh, the wheels hanging very nicely. Now the good thing about I suppose on this one you can actually tap, do the pins and actually get the, the road wheels to be, be undulated a lot long cross over uh, uneven ground which would be really good. I'm not going to do that with this kit but I might do it with one in the future because I've got an idea for a small diagram, di diagram, a di diorama with a vehicle going across uneven ground um, to make it look a bit more impressive. Never done that before so it'd be a first so but this one is going to be done uh, basically as as uh, as, non, as non door armor kit so there you go so you can see that the tracks look nice kind of put them back i've got some plenty of spares in there there's no problem and know where that came from oh i do know where that came from just found a bit i was looking for there you go because that come off one of the idler wheels it's got to go on because it i mean tacked it on with a bit of glue well there you go so that's okay so what we're going to be doing then is that will be the build and if I bring the oh, box link, I'm going to have to transfer it. Just transfer this over quickly now. Oh, you're a bit there. I'm going to put that there. That there. That on top. Put it in. And one over top. They're already protected, so that's good. That's the over top. I'll do that. And this one go over there. Move that over there, put that in the corner. That can go there. They can go in there. Don't need them. And that's where that other world bit goes. You can see there's a third where you can't, but there's a third bit there. So I can put that in later. I'm doing this, I'll put it in there now. So I know that's got to go back on. That's going in there. And then basically let go down the side. Use the decals and a bit of PE I forgot to mention. There you go, you can see PE, but I've got a full set of those, so don't really need this one, but I'm going to keep it a spare. And uh, that is it, I believe. Yep. Oh, apart from the whole top, which can go over there. It doesn't have to be on fully. So, because th this is having an so that's a loose box. I'll put it down on the floor for now. Now, let's have a look at the destructions, as I like to call them. And there they are, now I'll zoom in on this one. Now if you want to read them, you can. And the good thing is I can, I'm looking directly at the screen so I know exactly what you're seeing. So there you go, that's good, because it's a two-in-one like kit, like I said. Early and late versions of production, but I'm doing the late, as I've already explained. And thick paper. So the first bit is all the bits about gluing and all your bits and safety for to, uh, building the kit about don't do's, do this, drill a hole if necessary and all those stuff and glue or don't glue. Then you've got to the sprue count and as you can see you've basically got two of that. Uh, any other twos? Oh yeah, two of the wheels ones, yeah. So you've got two lots of tracks. Now as I said, they're not. I won't be using those so they're not in the box I, and I didn't show you them. They are nice and they would work out really well if you was doing it. Yeah, as you see. You've got um, enough track there to do the both sides, but I, I'm using the metal ones. So here we go, and there's the PE and the decals, and there's the actual. Um, if you're doing those tracks, 
I think you can actually do a quite a nice job by actually using them on here and then gluing them together and doing these on there on the, there and then basically getting the road wheels and the glue was one unit and so you can take the road wheels off both sides and I might, might think that that's what uh, Night Shift did but I'll have to have a look at that I think he did use metal tracks though anyway let's get on with this little bit of instructions it's not as bad as a uh, ship I was wooden ship I was looking at here we go and the basic start number one and so far there's no part no no choice of which vehicle because it's basically the same on all and this bit is here perfect again it will be used to actually line up these axles for me 100% so that it sits flat on the on the, um, the, the road service so that's okay not straight just basically doing the the, uh, the actual um, road wheel areas elements axles and next week, here we go, so we come back up here now. And now this is, we can see with the track links we won't be using. But I did that similar method, with that and that, to do with the metal track. So I've got the right length and to get the right sag on it, it's really good. Then is the road will be cleaned, cleaned up, and I haven't done any of that, so that's all got to be done. And these have all got to be cleaned up as well, these you can see it's still in the picture. Still got to be done. And I've done those anyway, but I've got to glue this bit, this bit on again, because it came off on one of them, because I didn't put a lot of glue on it. There you go, and then on this side, here we go with the tracks, and as I said, we've already done the tracks, so this bit, this is what it will look even with my metal tracks, but but uh, we're not be using it, so eight and seven and eight, basically, it's not, it's no go apart from these two, but the uh, towing shackles uh, for the front. And then we move over, and then we start getting our choices. And as the old carry said, on a carry-on film I watched recently, on a holiday carry-on film, I was it carry on abroad I think it was called and basically the the uh, hotel fell a bits at the end and my favorite sort of thing they said is when you've got choices you've got choices you can have chips beans and and chip fish and bit cheap beans or beans chip and fish chippings and it basically kept mucking about it and in that fact, actual fact it was three elements to the to the meal but the, it was the same thing was just altered round for the menu quite funny I thought so that time because they said it better than me anyway let's get back to this anyway so we've got the uh, early version and that's number one like I said so all that that to do is with the early version number two over here is the early version but that one in two make two because it's the same for both versions so straightforward and now none over here got that but now we've got that one bit altered so one of them's got to be altered and that that's uh, that little uh, amendment sheet so I'll have to look at that when we get to this area and and this now this is for number two it looks like a toe shackle so obviously I've got a toe shackle on number two and no tackle toe uh, no I haven't got a toe shackle on number one so this, that's the, for this one for the late number two version quite interesting so I might even be able to put an old trailer on the back of it and have it as put in along with a fuel drum on it or something because these do guzzle fuel anyway so that's that so I'll be on that next one over this side and this is all to do with number uh, I'm gonna say it is put the that's for both and then you come on to the choice of one and two and this is a difference now it looks that doesn't look any different at the moment does it and well it does you can see the tow shovel there but on there it's got the actual uh, jack there so the jack must go somewhere else on this version as we're going to find out so that's number two that i'll be doing then you go over this side and number one again over this side and you're doing number two over this side but that bit because it's in the middle means it's for both versions so that's quite straightforward just putting all tools and blacks and clamps and here's all the proves it see so here you've got a gap where there's no where the center where there is no center tracks but on this one you're going to have tracks in the middle extra armor i suppose on the side of the, the actual hole and it tells you in here to drill some holes and i think it does on the other one yes it does but this one is definitely uh drilling the holes on the top there on the top of the fighting compartment over the other side again i'm going to go straight for number two so that's the way one do now obviously the men weren't as strong, uh, uh, they were stronger when they had the first version because they may have got one hand or to, change, to open the hatch, but this one you have to have two to give it a good, oof. that's a joke really though. No. I don't know why they put two in, perhaps they thought it'd be easier with two handles to, if you're on the outside of the vehicle to get the hatch open. That's most probably what it was. So there you go, not bad at all. And you're doing spare tracks, now I might be using my metal ones, it depends on the goes, that depends on that one. And then we go over to here, number number um, number uh, two of me again is basically this is the same for both vehicles, um, but basically this is the uh, there's a slight difference obviously with this one C4 28 26 29 
four. No, it's not. No, they're both the same, but we're going to stick, have to stick with this one to get the right numbers in and make sure. And going around and putting bits and pieces in. Very similar, but there is a slight difference. Yep. Come over. And now number two for me is again over this side. And there is a difference now, you can tell straight away. They're putting this uh, cable on the side and there's no cable on this one. I know where it is. I remember when I first glimpsed it, the cable on this one, this number two goes on on this side and has rolled round in, on a framework. So that's it. And there it goes, the poop. Magnify it up just so you can see what it looks like. And then, just gonna turn it over then. And then we're back on this number one, at uh, number one, uh, number two. And then these parts are the same for both, I presume. Yeah, they are. Must be. Yep, definitely the same because it's all internal stuff. So there's my, that's the one I'll be looking at. Then we're over on this one, number one again. I won't be looking at, but it's, it's very similar. But this one is me. What's up here? And then two, and there's a bit bits of differences on this. I know. I think. Mm. Nah, not really. Not much difference. But I'm going to stick with this, and then I get it right. Ah, B. No, the doors are the same because the doors are the same for both versions. So there you go. But I'll just be looking at this one to make sure I get it right. And here we go here, and this way we, we can pick out the differences straight away. This is number one. That is the same for both versions. But the only thing is, if, if you're saying that the hinge, this plate now has got the actual... You can actually undo the hatch without removing the weapon, but on that one you'd have to take the weapon frame off before you actually had done the engine hatch. So this is probably an improvement and a uh, simpler for the crew without removing the anti-aircraft display. Of course, if they have to really do major repairs, the whole plate will come off anyway, the centre plate. There you go. Over side, straightforward again. This is for both versions, so that's it. And you put it in there, and I will, and then if you know, this is, uh, oh, that's what I'll show you in a minute, but yeah, that's, that's straightforward for both vehicles, number one and two. Then you come over to here, now this is where I think the stage that uh, Night Shifter got to and basically got there and when he come to do this it wouldn't fit and he had a lot of work to do to get it to fit. Whereas I've got mine to fit already, I've got that no problem because I can sl slide this bit over the barrel when it's in place and, and then slide that bit on and that's all I have to do because that's big enough to move the gun through. And the, the barrel does move up and down, so you will be able to do that and just use a metal one. I'm gonna, I might stick with a plastic one because it's pretty, pretty reasonable. And I can always put a cover at the end. If you put the travel light, you can always put a cover over the end of the barrel to stop the dust getting down it, which is what they used to do. A little cap. And yep, no, there's a version because it's for both. Really, shows you that that's what it should look like. And these are said good, might be using the metal, but I'll be using the PE ones most probably, so these won't get used. And then the final final bits and pieces. And that yeah, I was right, so this is it, E and then there's F and it. I had the E one, didn't I? So this is the actual eight version. Yeah, there you go. And of course I won't put the tracks on the actual cradles because I should be camouflaging for us before I put everything on there. That's it. So that's it, and then we're basically getting to the camo versions. Now, I'll show you all the versions, but basically I'm not doing these ones. So I'm not doing this one or this one. It does actually say, uh, it doesn't say early anyway, does it? If it's got in. Not like I can see at the moment, with the glare on the paper. You haven't got the glare, but I have. And then you've got this version. Which is another early version, sorry. I think if I tilt it up a little bit. Yeah, I think it's better like that, yeah. And this is my version, I'll be building this one. I like the fact, uh, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's nice, it's got, a version. It's got the uh, the wheels all one colour. I'd rather have had them a bit of camouflage, but I suppose it makes life easier. Don't know if there's another late version. No, there isn't. There's only one really late version, and it's that one. So I'll be doing that one. And it's quite a good uh, reference for the painting of the colours. So I should try and get as near as I can to that. There you go. 
it might be easier to do the green first now i always go light colors then darker colors so do the base color and then go straight in with the details right there you go so that's that's what i'll be doing so let's put this back away oh there's a few you have vehicles I haven't got that. I've got this. Uh, this. I don't think it's a tack conversion. I've got. No, it's further back. It's further back. But I've, I've got a, a Yagtite. I've got a Panther with, uh, with uh, the interior, so which I'm really looking forward to building. A Yag Panther, because I think one of my favourite vehicles. It's got lovely streamlining on it, as far as I'm concerned. There you go. And there. So that is it then. So that is the build for uh, me and Greg and our next buddy build which we should be starting within the next two two weeks or when this video comes up when you see this video we are starting <laughs> so thank you very much and uh, look after yourself and uh, catch you at the next one happy modeling <laughs>